So in the first video in this series, we talked about the motor starter and a motor with the uh, stop button and the uh, well, what we had was a start button and the overload. And then the second video, uh, we moved up to a reversing starter, which deals with two coils for an open and a closed circuit. Open contacts here, closed contacts here. And we dealt with the the limit switch and the torque switch. And now we're going to go one step further and we're going to talk about the selector switch here and some remote control. So these contacts here could be push buttons, um, stop, close and open. They could be push buttons, they could be relays, they could be PLC outputs. And what we're going to do now is we're going to concentrate on how these contacts here control this circuit. And we'll start from this area right here where we normally have power going to the stop button and we'll, we'll focus in on that area. So I'm going to concentrate on the remote part of the circuit, this being the remote part of the circuit. And this would be the remote stop, the close, and the open. And we'll just go through the scenario of an open operation. Close would be very similar. So I'll start here, up here at the stop button, and voltage will go through the normally closed stop button, as long as we're not pressing it, and come over to the selector switch. The selector switch has three positions. We have off, where none of the contacts are made up. We have local, wherever we see a solid line, if we're in local, we, we will follow the path of that solid line, for example, from three to five, if we were in local, would be made up. And remote, which is what we're going to do now, that's this dotted line. So, for example, from three to nine here on this switch, that's going to be made up when we're in remote. And when we're in remote, that brings voltage out on this orange conductor to the normally closed remote stop switch. So assuming that switch is not pressed, contact is made up, and voltage is able to go up to the start switch. Once this start switch is closed, whether through relay or push button, that allows voltage to go all the way up to the same point where the local open push button would bring power. If this limit switch here is not broken because we didn't reach our full open limit, then it would be made up. Voltage would also go to the torque switch, and as long as we don't encounter too much torque, that switch would be closed. And voltage would go to the normally closed contact here, controlled by this coil, and that should be closed. And then voltage is brought all the way to the coil, to the open coil. There's neutral on this side, all the way up to the overload contact, as long as the overloads did not trip that contact, that will be made up. And neutral is brought all the way over to the neutral side of both coils. So this is how the open coil for this motor starter is operated remotely. Also what happens is we have a sealing contact. And the way that works remotely is this. When this coil is energized, not only is the three contacts for A, B, and C phase going to the motor made up, but also this contact here is made up. What that does is that brings voltage to this common wire to this contact on a selector switch. Brings it over to the limit switch and torque switch to the coil as well. 
so that if this is a momentary push button or a relay output that just gives us a pulse and it opens up, there's no voltage going this path, but voltage can get to the coil via this path. So this here is the sealing contact, and the reason for that sealing contact is so we can let go of the push button and the motor will keep running until we reach the limit or we have too much torque or we blow a fuse. If we press the stop button either locally or remotely, the overload, trips, any of those things will stop the motor from running. And then the motor will not start again until we press the start button. Because once, for example, an overload trips, it's no neutral. So there's no voltage going across it. And if there's no voltage going across that coil, this contact here is going to open. Even when this gets reset, there's not going to be any hot on the other side of the coil to operate it. Not until we press the start button again.